Today, we are going to be putting on the front grill. I got a screen and everything for it. So what we are going to go ahead and do is take that front bumper off. I'll go ahead and bring that screen outside. Go ahead and grab that real quick, show you guys what it looks like. And we're going to be installing a lower grill onto this Mustang. It's not a grill that comes with the car. It's a custom grill. So I'm gonna make it work and make it fit. But I think it'll blend in very well with the bullet style front grill that I have. Cause this is an Eleanor front bumper. So they make like a billet type lower grill, but they don't have like a honeycomb lower grill. So I'm gonna make my own. So first things first, let's go ahead and take the front bumper off. We're gonna have to cut it a little bit, um, adjust a couple things to make it work. If you guys haven't noticed already, we have the flares off because they are getting painted or I'm trying to get it painted. I took the front fender off, the rear fender off, side skirts are still on as you guys can see, but trying to get everything painted that way we can make everything blend in and make it look real, real nice. But for today's video, we're going to focus on that lower grill. So as you can see, it is clearly dark outside. It took me like three hours to complete this thing. But anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and show you basically what I did. So I'm not going to show you the front just yet, but I would like to explain what I used, how I did it. This is like a total of $60 right here instead of paying 200 bucks for a grill. So what I did was, was I got some, uh, some mesh right here. It was like 24 by 12 or something like that. I cut the sides right there and I cut the sides right there and that's where that came from. And then for that black piece right here, that's actually a metal sheet that I cut up and I measured it. So I measured it up along with every screw, measured it from one screw to another, that way I knew how far away the holes were so I knew where to drill for a hole in the metal sheet. And basically I ended up with this little build right here and I put a total of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 screws in there. And they're like long, I'm, I'm talking like this long inside. So this grill is not going anywhere. And I wanted to make sure of that. So without further ado, let's go up to the front of the bumper and see what it looks like. And here we go. Boom. My idea around the metal sheet in the back was because the upper grill is just like that so instead of it being down like that how there's a black metal sheet down there it's on top so there's a little opening right in the middle for air to go through and since I have a blower and everything it works really well I didn't want all this open gap because with all that open gap even with even with the mesh you could still see down on the ground but now all you're gonna be able to see is the intercooler so I'm actually gonna wait until tomorrow when it brightens up to put the bumper on to see what it looks like. So we'll just have to wait till tomorrow uh, to put the bumper on. And that way you guys can get a better view of what the grill and the front bumper looks like. And you can do this on any bumper. Any bumper that has any type of airflow to go in, I'm sure every bumper has one, uh, you can do this. All right, so what I went ahead and did, is actually the next day. What I went ahead and did was, so the bumper part right there, the frame, um, that was actually hitting the top part of the grill. So I cut that entire piece off which is laying right there. So what I did was I use, I'm gonna use that extra mesh, like this is aluminum. I'm gonna use it as like a back plate. So this sheet of metal doesn't bend by the wind or anything like that. I just wanted to make it extra secure. That way it doesn't bend or anything like that. And I used washers on those screws right there so it'll hold it all in place. So let's go ahead and actually put it onto the car right now. See what it all looks like. Well, it is super, super hot today. And there you have it, end product. Ooh. Now, like I said, the fenders are being painted as we speak. Stay tuned for that. This is how much wider the wheels stick out in the body. This front grill, uh, don't worry about the love bugs because I had to go through the highway and got demolished. Now, you, if you guys didn't already know that the love bugs eats your paint, so I would recommend taking it off your car as soon as you get home or as soon as you can. But regardless, don't look at the love bugs, but what do you all think? I'm thinking I might have to uh, match the upper grill just so it flows better and everything, but we'll see. But right now, I think it looks pretty, pretty good. <laughs> 